Dear students, welcome to EPG Padashala. I am Dr. Shri Devi Sivagami here to discuss with you on care and maintenance of cleaning equipments. Cleaning equipments are essential tool for the housekeeping professionals. They help to improve the productivity and efficiency of the functions of the hotel. Efficient cleaning and maintenance are dependent upon the high quality cleaning equipment correctively used, though only 5 to 10 percent of the overall cost incurred on cleaning is accounted for cleaning equipment and the agent and for also selecting the ideal equipment for the major role. The department is also responsible for the maintenance of all the equipments is very custody. For equipment acquired under the grants and contracts, the principal investigator shares the responsibility with the department chair or the dean. The housekeeper should be aware of a specific equipment care and maintenance requirement defined by the grants or contract. It is the equipment custodian responsibility to care of the equipment interest to his or her profession and keep it safe. After reading this module, you will be able to understand the importance of care and maintenance of the cleaning equipments used in the housekeeping department and also know about the various procedures followed to care and maintain the different cleaning equipments used in the housekeeping department. Let us discuss in detail about the care and maintenance of the manual cleaning equipments. The foremost important of cleaning equipment which is less in price is brushes. Already in the previous modules we have discussed about the types of brushes. Here we are going to discuss how the care have to be taken in once we use brushes. Brushes should be gently tapped on a hard surface to loosen the dust after the cleaning procedure. Frequent washing with water is avoidable since the brush may be loose, some of their stiffness will be gone away. If they must be washed frequently, the final rinse should be in hold with a saline water to help the brush to regain the stiffness. Brush should also be cleaned on all the fluff and the threads before washing. They may be washed in a warm, mild and soapy water. The disinfectant should be added to the rinsing water in case of toilet brushes. If brushes with natural bristle which has been made out of vegetable or animal origin have to be used for wax polishing or washing with washing soda, once we use this chemical, one tablespoon that is about 15 gram have to be added to diluted water, two liters have to be added and should, should be removed and greased thoroughly. Brushes should be washed by beating the head up and down with the bristles facing downwards so that the water splashes up between the stuffs. They should be rinsed well in the same way in case of hold water. After shaking of the excess water, the brushes should be left to dry in such way that the remaining water may drip off the side of the brush or at the top of the head stop. Brushes should be never left resting on their bristles else they may splay out. If left resting on the stop, the water will rot from the stop on the time. The best way should hang the brushes so that the bristles will be looking down. When possible, the brushes should be dry in the sun or in open air. To extend the life of the brush, some of the liquids have to be used and it should be applied to the stock and handled with an oil can allow to harden. The next manual equipment that has been used in the housekeeping department is a broom. The broom should be shaken free of dust and fluff. They should never be stored standing on the bristle or the bristle will blend out of the shape resulting in insufficient cleaning. Brooming should be stored either lying horizontally or a hanging bristle downwards. Soft broom should never be used on the wet surface. In case of stiff broom such as which has been made out of coconut fiber, brooms have to be used on the wet surface but must be afterwards the cleaning have to be thoroughly done in the saline water then it have to be drawn it under the sun. Another type of manual equipment is a box sweeper. The friction brush should be kept clean tells the sufficiency of the equipment will be seriously impaired. 
After the cleaning process, the dust pan should be empty to collect all the dust. Here, we are going to see how a dry and a wet mops have to be maintained. In case of dry mops, mop should be shaken well after use in case of outdoors. The mop head should be easily detachable so that they can be frequently washed in hot water with the detergent. The use of soap free detergent will prevent the formation of scum that locks the fiber of the head. The mop must be worked up and down at least to hang to clean the hot water. The clean mop should be even tightly squeezed, shaken well to get rid of the excess moisture and left to dry in open air. Once dry, the mop should need not be re-imbrigated. The new mop should be soaked in clean with water for 30 minutes to allow for shrinkage. Whereas in wet mops, the mop should be taken outdoor after use and shaken well to remove the excess moisture. Then these mops may be washed in the same way as the dry mops. The detachable heads are easier to clean and maintain. However, drying is the most important part of the mop hair as bacteria require moisture to multiply. So the disinfectants will discourage the growth of the microorganism only for the short period of time. So leaving the dam means letting the germs to breed or reproduce. Dam mop should be renewed as soon as the signs of wear. They should be stored in such a way that the air is allowed to circulate around the mop head. When we use the disinfectants or the bleach should never be used in the cellular sponge head. In sponge head should be washed and rinsed after use and squeeze out the excess water and dried well. The sponge head should be stored for by hanging. Once the housekeeper apply a polish applicator, some of the points that have to be bear in mind is a polish applicator should not be washed with water. Wiping away excess polish with newspaper or rags before it dries should be used on the surface. It is important to see the label, the polish applicator with what type of polish for which they have to be used so that each applicator is being used in such a way that to avoid mixing. So far, I had been discussing about how a manual equipment have to be kept clean. Here we are going to learn in what ways the mechanical equipments can be maintained properly with care because huge amount of money is being invested to purchase the various types of manual equipments. The first one is on the vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner will give a maximum efficiency when they are being well maintained. The housekeeping staff need to be trained in such a way that care and maintenance of the equipments have to be taken into consideration. The wheels of the machine need to be oiled periodically so that it can be moved from one place to another. After use, the dust bag should be checked if the machine is being operated with the dust bag full. The equipment will not be efficient. The machine may be heat up too much and the bag may be get damaged. Casing should be wiped daily and the hoses and the flux checked before use. The attachment head should be cleaned after each use. Whereas in case of filter, that have to be checked after use. If the machine has been meant for dry suction only, it should never be used to clear even a little amount of water, else the dust bag will be damaged. In case of wet vacuum, the bucket should be washed, rinsed and dried, and squeeze should be wiped clean and replaced whenever necessary. The hose needs to be rinsed out and the casing and the wheels wiped and the filter checked after use. The wheels need to be oiling periodically as I mentioned earlier. The hoses should be stored hanging on the hooks so that the water that has been presented in the hoses will drop out. The tubes and the attachment heads 
of the dry vacuum cleaner should be stored in boxes or in drawers and shelves. The hoses and the attachment head of the wet vacuum cleaner should be stored off the ground on the rack where it is well ventilated is being given. The second machine that is being normally used as a cleaning equipment in the housekeeping by the housekeeper is a rotatory floor machine. All machine especially rotatory machine must be handled by trained and experienced person only. In case if it has been handled improper use of the machine can cause such damage to the carpet as the seam separation can be seen or delamination of backing of the material, bucking and shrinking premature face fiber can be worn out. Such equipments comes with accessories and the attachment like hoses and electrical cords, the hoses must be checked for the perfection and the leakage. They must be rinsed properly after use. The electrical cords must be checked for fragged insulation and naked wire. In case of plug, must be put in the socket well. Never put bare wire end of the cords into the socket so that involves the hazardous of electrical short circuit. The small objects like pins and needles must be removed with brush and dust bag. First before the vacuum cleaning the carpet as these items lend to puncture the dust bag of the vacuum cleaner. Any large object should be removed from the floor as it could damage the suction process. The suction nozzle should be facing downwards when vacuuming as the another articles like jewellery, fine garments should be sucked within. Here we are going to discuss about the general purpose of the floor machine. How a floor machine have to be, care and maintenance have to be taken into consideration. The brushes and the pads should never be left on the machine after cleaning. Brushes should be detached after cleaning. The fluff should be removed from them before washing. Wet ones should be washed, rinsed and dried after every use. Dry ones should be washed occasionally but the dust should be tapped away after the regular use. The pad should be washed, rinsed and dried thoroughly. The tank should be emptied, washed and dried. The wheels and casing should be wiped after every use. The wheels need to be chilling, we have to be checked periodically. The flux should be checked for fragging before each use. The brushes and the pads should be stored in well ventilated area, preferably where the aeration and ventilations are being seen in the rack as well as in the hook. They should not be kept on the ground. The tops of the tank may be loosely fitted during the storage. The housekeeper should have a thorough knowledge about the care and maintenance of the cloth, the duster and the cloth mittens. After every wash, it have to be rinsed dry thoroughly after use. If the cloth mittens are imbricated with mineral oil after washing, keep them covered or they may attract the dust. Whereas in case of small wipes or swap cloth, wash it in hot detergent water, rinse and dry thoroughly after every use. Those have to be used on western cloth stitch should be used disinfector after every washing. In case of floor cloths, wash it with hot detergent water, rinse with the disinfectants, whatever germs that has been presented in the floors may be killed and dry it thoroughly. Whereas in case of scrum cloth, Scrum is nothing but a strong coarse fabric chiefly used for heavy duty lining or the upholstery. The scrum is a type of a heat proof gauze a cloth but oh, which is being kept on a over flame or on a television lamp to diffuse the light. This cloth have to be washed, rinsed and dried after every use. The next cloth that is being used for a wiping purpose is a glass cloth. Again for this once we use this cloth it have to be washed, rinsed and dried thoroughly. Next cloth is on the racks and the polishing cloth. In case of racks should be disposed of every use, rinse and polishes with a strong odor may contain a flammable chemicals 
and strong racks and polished cloth have to be used in their application may prove a fire hazard. Whereas in a wet cloth, it have to be always washed in the hot detergent, rinse and dry thoroughly. The disinfectants periodically will prevent them to become unhygienic. You may have heard about a Chamo's leather, which is often used by a housekeeper. If not maintained properly, the leather gets cracked and it may be easily damaged. After every use, we have to remove the excess dirt from it with the help of newspaper. Wash only when necessary with plain cold water. Rinse it either in store it in a damp place or in a dry flat. When dry, or rub to the soften the leather again. Once we use the dust sheet, it have to be shake well in whenever we use it in the outdoor purpose. It have to be washed, rinse and dry whenever it is be necessary and neatly folded and it have to be stacked and stored when it is not in use. Next type of cloth that is being used by a housekeeper is the druckets. Shake well by tapping on the ground the outdoors if which is being made up of plastic. Use of hard brush to clean away the stubborn dirt from the cloth. Rinse and dry canvas on the linen ones frequently and plastic ones can be damp, wiped steady. Once we use the bucket cloth, it have to be shake well after use, rinse uh, thoroughly and after every wash and use a hard brush to clean away a stubborn soiling. To summarize this module, cleaning is one of the major tasks of the housekeeping force performance. Cleaning is an essential aspect for hygiene. Cleaning also makes a pleasant atmosphere thus every establishment must be clean and well maintained. Unwanted substances are removed by washing. Cleaning is the process of removing the stains, dirt, dust, grease and unwanted impurities. It includes mopping, sweeping, scrubbing and washing. The housekeeping staff needs to take the help of the various cleaning equipments while trying to keep the hotel premises to the highest standard of appearance. Today, there is a wide range of cleaning products available in the market. There are different types of cleaning equipment should be well maintained, clean and it should be in good repair condition. The cleaning equipments require attention to avoid a cross contamination of the microorganism and the growth of the microorganism in a dirty environment. The tools and the equipments used for cleaning and the disinfectants must be cleaned and dried between the every use. Thank you.